How to make the narcissist come back. The narcissist discarded you because they believed that the grass is always greener on the other side. They believed that the new source would be a better source of supply for them. They believed that the new source would give them more attention and admiration, make them feel significant and valuable, desirable and attractive. When the narcissist was with you, they didn't feel as though you were attending to them. They didn't feel as though you admired them. They didn't feel significant and valuable or desirable and attractive. They most likely felt small and insignificant, as though they were nothing special or as though they didn't exist. When the narcissist begins to devalue us, we feel uncomfortable around them. They are not deserving of our positive attention. They are not deserving of us being intimate with them. You may desire for the narcissist to come back, but the truth is, you deserve so much more. You deserve so much more than a self-absorbed individual who uses you like an object for their own needs. But this video is about making the narcissist come back. So that is what I'm going to be talking about. To make the narcissist come back, you first need to identify the reasons why they left. They left because you were questioning or confronting them. You always wanted to know where they were or who they were with. You always wanted to know what they were doing. You might have accused them of cheating or lying to you. All of these things are going to push the narcissist away. They are going to make the narcissist not want to deal with you anymore. The last thing the narcissist wants to do is to be responsible for anything. They run from responsibility. As soon as you start trying to make them responsible for something, they are going to find someone new. If you want the narcissist to come back, you need to stop trying to make them responsible. Stop questioning them on where they have been or who they were with. Stop asking them what they have been doing. Detach your emotions from their behavior and just try to enjoy the moment with them. If you react emotionally to their behavior, and make them feel as though they were doing something wrong, you are going to be pushing them further away. They are not going to want to deal with you anymore. They are just going to find someone new. You need to avoid questioning or confronting them. To make the narcissist come back, you need to be willing to provide them with whatever they need in that moment. This might be your attention and admiration of them, regardless of what they have done or how they have been treating you. They may wish to take out their frustrations on you and treat you as their emotional punching bag. If you want the narcissist to come back, you must be willing to do this. You must be willing to take the endless insults and put downs without ever questioning or confronting them 
as that will only push them further away. You must be willing to provide them with whatever they need in that moment. Whether it's your time, energy, money, sex. Regardless of how you feel or what you want. If you want the narcissist to come back, this is what you must be willing to do. You have to give up your own wants, needs and desires to accommodate theirs. You have to give up your own likes and interests and let them decide what you like or what you are interested in. You have to give up your own thoughts and ideas, feelings and beliefs. The narcissist is going to dictate all of this to you. They are not going to allow you to have your own independent thoughts and ideas, feelings and beliefs. This is what you have to do to make the narcissist come back. To summarize this video, if you want to make the narcissist come back to you, you have to be willing to give up who you are. You have to be willing to erase yourself. You have to be willing to be whatever the narcissist wants you to be. You cannot have a mind of your own. You cannot have your own wants, needs and desires. You cannot have your own likes and interests. You cannot have your own thoughts and ideas, feelings and beliefs. You basically have to be an empty vessel. You have to act as though you are unable to respond, to think or respond to the world around you. You have to start over with nothing psychologically. You have to have no moral compass. You have to be a highly suggestible person. Open to suggestion. Easily swayed. Easily influenced by the narcissist's opinions and beliefs. Inclined to accept and act on their suggestions. Willing to do whatever they want you to do. This is how to make the narcissist come back. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications of my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store, where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.